All right, uh, I just arrived home. I, uh, I went to an army surplus store in the Netherlands. I'm from the Netherlands, but I went to a place I've never been before. And uh, there was a dump store. So I had a look, just browsing around. No intention to buy anything, but it was a great store. They offered me a cup of coffee and uh, very helpful. I really can recommend it. I think I have a name card. Uh, I'll show it later. Anyways, so while browsing through the racks, I saw a Dutch army trench coat, eh? an overcoat. So I thought, hey, let's have a look. So I tried it on in the shop. It was a nice fit. I just came home and now I look, uh, I'm going to look at it in more detail and uh, you can see. So there was just a plain bag they had because it was quite a big put on the ground. It's a kind of uh, khaki collar. And as you can see, I'll put it neatly. I briefly had a look at the shop and I was really impressed. I didn't see this one before because it's actually for officers. There was uh, a conscript in the past. Uh, but they didn't have it, at least we didn't have it, and that's the uh, the coat. It's uh, yeah, it, it's uh, I think kind of polyester. Let's uh, look at the label. Okay, material 100% polyester. So washing instructions very important. Uh, Waller is, I think, the type of the uh, winter liner, which you can see here. It's with a, a zip. I think, yeah, here, you can unzip it with extra liner here. And uh, yeah, the sizes I never understand. I just tried on a bunch of sizes, and it was a perfect fit. I'm now wearing my pajamas, so I'm not going to try it on. Maybe later uh, I will wear it and make a video of it. Um, I'm planning to wear it over my business suit when the weather is not that good because it looks very, quite smart, I think. Especially with uh, proper brown leather shoes, light brown, you know, and a nice suit under it. The buttons are not, uh, not with any army markings or something like that, just very plain. So it's perfect for general use. It's a long coat. It goes over the uh, over the knees, and of course it's double-breasted, such as it should be, as it should be. I mean, here on the yeah, on the cuffs as well. <coughs> I say this in English: the epaulets, same buttons. Very nice deep pockets. Let's see how deep it is. Yeah, all the way like this can go in. Um, uh, when I tried it on, yeah, it's here. Here, through the liner, it goes into the jacket itself. Uh, the inner pockets. And uh, gun flap. As it should be, and you can hear, and, and it feels very. I think it will, the water will just roll off. No, no creases, it hasn't been washed or anything, that's great because sometimes they wash it improperly or not in the correct way. Sorry, my English not get that good, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, let's turn around. Uh, yeah. this will twist a bit. All right, the back side. Yeah, what can I say? It's just uh, as it should be, I guess. This one, to let the runner, water run, run off. I don't know how you call this one, the shoulder flap, back flap. It's fantastic. Nice, big uh, collar. And 
why you need to invite it. It will look like this. All right. So, yeah, it doesn't. I, I... Anyway, you get, you get the idea. All the way at the bottom is another button here, which you can use to tighten all the way down, but you will never do that. I think it's maybe when you go to sleep or something in the field, if you really want to be fair warm, you can button this last one. Correct me if I'm wrong, I don't know exactly. All right, so there was no price tag on it in the shop. You know, a dump shop, surplus shop. So I pointed it out and asked the lady, how much is this one? There were a bunch of them, all new, hanging nicely. And this one I tried on, that's a great fit. And I expected maybe, she will say 70 euros, which is like uh, 80 US or something. I thought that would be a reasonable price, you know, even though it's a surplus shop, but because it's brand new actually, it's never been worn. So I was willing to pay that, to be honest. I thought if the 70 euros, uh, shall I do it? Yeah, okay, why not? You know, it's, it's really nice. Um, I'm not that kind of guy that wants to have fancy brands. I, I have a lot of army surplus stuff, but this is really something you can wear uh, for professional purposes, like when you go to work over a suit. And then uh, <laughs> when she told me the price, I was so surprised. Okay, the price, she said. Uh, I was waiting, I thought, oh, maybe 70 euros. No, she said 17 and a half euros. That is like, uh, I almost said, 20 US dollars. <laughs> okay, so I bought it right away. And that's the belt. Okay, just. So there you go. I will now try to find the little name card. So for you guys who ever will visit the Netherlands in the south, it's called the Limburg province and it's called Leger Dump Weert. Weert is the village. Here are the details. I don't know if they do any online stuff. Uh, there's a website so maybe we can have a look. And uh, yeah, army dump weird. And uh, they had a lot of nice stuff. Very nice people. They even had the uh, Dutch jungle camel, which I never saw in any other place. They had it. Also, it's still in plastic, but it didn't have my size. Otherwise, I've gotten that one as well. Uh, so yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Um, one more thing. Like I said, I don't believe like spending your money on brands. This is even better than brand stuff, I guess. And only for a silly price of 17 and a half euros, it's a steal. So highly recommend it. And uh, I'll try it on maybe next time. And uh, if I feel up to it, I'll make a little movie so you can see how it looks. But. You get the point. Thanks. Bye.